Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Airsoft Al, and today we are taking a look at the Plan Beta 1911, how it works internally. Now I took out this to see if it'll work, but no, there is a stopper right here in the hammer, so we're going to completely undo this, which I would usually do a time lapse over this, but really, it's just two screws. It's not going to take that long to actually do. What's going to be real fun is trying to make sure this thing does not come flying out of here, so I'm going to lift this up. Uh, up here, okay. Put this up here, and just yank you out. There we go. <clears throat> okay. And voila. Simple as that. Now, there is a hop up in here. It's a fixed hop up, and what's actually funny about it is that the hop up really over hops the BB. I'm talking it just over hops it like no tomorrow. So we are probably going to remove that maybe? I don't know. I might. Although the barrel inside is all plastic. Or no, wait a minute. That's uh, no that is a plastic barrel. Okay. You could remove this flash hider here. It's just uh glued on, but honestly that's how it is. But either way, so apparently there was a screw here. It's not a screw here. Okay. Also, this is the 1911 in of itself. This is literally it. It is as simple as simple can be. The parts on it are actually rather robust, and you can replace the uh, the grips here. You can replace the grips on this if you wanted to, which I may or may not do. I do like these grips. I like the feel of these. Like, I might replace. Uh, I might just grab these grips off of here because honestly, these are really nice feeling grips like they are just really nice i'm not even gonna lie on that oh man those are nice and the screws on here are actually metal those are actually metal screws. but either way we're not talking about this we are talking about this as you know in the review this thing was getting around the high 200s and we're actually looking at the plunger here this is a rather large plunger tube and uh the majority of the actual plunger is actually rather open but even so it's Like, that's how it is. I really do like this. I like the design of it. Like, it's really robust. It's actually reinforced. I can safely say that this would actually work. Now, the question would be, can we actually get a spring upgrade in this? So we're going to actually replace this spring. And someone actually said, uh, you know, do spring upgrades. Uh, that's what I'm actually doing. I'm trying to find a reasonable length of spring. Do I even have it? No, that's too small. Uh, I do have a lot of springs. I, I do have a lot of springs. I really do. Uh, ooh, that's way too damn big. That is way too damn big. So we're going to throw that off to the side. That's an AEG spring. It's actually, nope, too big. Nope. Uh, hello. Nope. Throw this off to the side here. Throw this off to the side. Throw a lot of these springs off to the side, actually. Oh my god. There are a lot of springs in here that I'm just throwing off to the side because I do not have the correct sizing. Hello. Did it actually fit? Question is, would it actually fit over this? Yes, it would, actually, and that's a little bit longer, so we're definitely going to get more spring power out of it. Uh, I'm going to set that off to the side as a contender. Even though this spring right here is actually pretty robust. Uh, here's another contender. Ooh, that's actually a little bit more powerful and a little bit longer. Hello. 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 Hello, spring. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Ah, damn it, I gotta get that song out of my head now. Okay, so I have literally went through every single spring I could in my little toolbox. Um, that's an AEG spring. Will that actually fit? No, well not. The back here too big. Okay, so we're gonna go with this spring here because this actually... It's actually a little beefy, but what about this one? That actually... Eh, no, no, not really. This is the more beefier spring, so we're going to go with this one here. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and pop that on. 
Then we are going to grab this here, pop it on. The question comes down to, can it handle it? Because while yes, in the past I have done spring upgrades, that's happened a lot, actually. That's actually happened more than I want it to. So we are going to try and... Mm. There we go. Okay, it's inside. Okay, now comes the fun part of... Mm. Okay, I'm going to have to flip it over. Because what I'm going to have to do... This is something I don't like doing. I'm going to have to hold it in place. Get the damn pin in here. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get this thing back together. Oh, wait. go. Okay, we're going to screw this back on now. And the question comes down to, will it catch? Now, I'm going to keep the safety on because I want to do this. Okay, I'm going to get the safety glasses now. And I'm going to prime it. Okay, it won't prime when the safety's on. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> Shit, it won't prime. Okay, so ah, fucking hell, it won't get. It's not getting ample compression. So there's a reason why it needs this long of a spring. I'm not. I'm curious if this spring will do it. But either way, uh, as to whether. So the answer to the question, this can be upgraded. This can take a better spring upgrade. You just got to get the right size spring. And second, if you're going to get the right size spring, make sure it is, well, I mean, by right size, I mean diameter and length. You need the right size spring if you want to get ample compression. Uh, this, it's not getting ample compression, and it is, bent, it is starting to seam. It's starting to bend at the seams. So I'm going to get this spring out of here before it explodes, and we're going to... And I will get back uh, maybe one day with an armory video. I might get back to you one day uh, with it. But either way, as always, guys, I've been Airsoft Allen. I will see you lovely people in the next mod guide. Uh, also, just so you know, there is another mod guide coming out. Uh, the reason I'm doing these mod guides after the reviews is because, uh, honestly, well, except for the Styrog. Styrog, it's already up. The uh, reason I'm doing this is because, one, need extra content, and two... It'd be a good idea, because I do talk about modding, and I do try to do as much as I can. So, either way, guys, as always, I've been Airsoft Al, and I will see you guys in the next video. And if you could, please, would you kindly go to the link down below and donate to our Patreon. Until next time.